non shower by noon. We're already at 55 degrees and quickly climbing because of those winds that will be gusty for the second half of the day. Windy conditions, wind gusts of 20 to 30 miles an hour expected this afternoon, but those will be winds of change pulling us to near 60 degrees by later today. Here's our clouds and radar loop. There's that cloud cover I mentioned just kind of dotting along the state line for this morning. These clouds certainly holding their own for the moment, but I do think we'll see kind of a mixed bag of sun and clouds across our area for today. It's going to be a dry day and with dry conditions, windy conditions and warmer temperatures, we will see that risk of fire danger across our area again today. A red flag warning now posted noon until six tonight for the bulk of our viewing area. Now our next cold front moves in later this evening and overnight tonight ahead of it. I do think we'll spark just a few light areas of rain. I don't anticipate it's going to slow you down for your evening drive, but after that, if you're going to be out and about later this evening, say around 9, 10, 11 o'clock, these isolated light showers of potential late tonight through early tomorrow morning. I'm talking about before sunrise Thursday morning. We've got that 30% chance of isolated showers today with that 60 degree high looking good. 51 for tomorrow, a bit cooler behind that front. Most of your Thursday looks dry and then Friday. What a way to end the work week again near 60 degrees with sunshine. Now we are keeping an eye on that chance of a few isolated areas of rain on Sunday morning as we're leading into the second half of your weekend and that could very well lead us into an active week next week, not just rain, but even some thunderstorms of potential next week, Matt.